Ow. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Come on into the Gungeon Lead Streaks. It's like a half DJ, or not like radio DJ, half just nothing. Anyway, let's roll or die. I feel like we played everybody, so it doesn't really matter what happens. Woo. We are a pilot. Played him recently, but you know what? We played everybody recently. All right, let us go into the Gungeon. Hopefully, like, I'm trying out something new today with my audio and video type things that if it goes well, I'll be able to put out more videos. So I'm hopefully, if, like, if you notice anything, that's what it is. Hopefully it's not noticeable in like an egregious or like really bad way. But that's what that is. I did already try this once and, and failed and had an actually insane run that I'm not gonna be putting up as part of the official series. But let me just say uh, it was insane and it included a potion of gun friendship and it included the synergy that literally breaks the game. It had a couple flaws with it due to my new new process, but I, I'll put it up as an unlisted video. Go check that out. You get, I mean, congratulations. You just get two Gungeon videos today, but one has slightly muffled audio. That's, that's basically it. But hopefully there'll be no issues today with this one. But we will be playing, I, I, I just, I like to be honest about the, the behind the, behind the scenes, behind the heen stuff. But like, I also know that people would, if you heard, yeah, I had a run with, uh, with bait launcher, uh, potion of gun friendship, plus one bullet synergy, creating a liter literal godforsaken army of tigers. If I said that and you were like, and you're not showing us that? then you'd be kind of upset. So yes, that is a thing and it is unlisted. Link in the description for that. But it is, I'm just like, I'm not proud of the, the visual and audio quality. So it's not, not gonna be a real thing. But hello, we are doing a normal video here today that is not unlisted. And we are playing as the pilot. For the 50,000th time, what are we looking for as the pilot? You tell me at this point. We are looking for spacebar items and coolness. If we can get them both, we can abuse the game easier than you can with other characters. Especially because he does have, you know, he's got the lockpick, which is which is something I know that I I undervalue the lockpick, but I think most people I think most people overvalue it, but I definitely know that I undervalue it. But alas, we got that. And then we have our shop discount, which is Maybe my favorite part about the pilot is just more bang for your buck. Can't go wrong there. Just over the course of the entire run, it adds up to probably like a free item. Doesn't it? Like 21, save you four shells here. If, if you saved an average, so that's, what is it, four, is it, what is the discount? Is it like 20%? No, 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 math, math is hard. Four, if it takes four off of 25, what is that percentage? It's a, uh, you know, it might be 20. It might be 20, I think I might, I think I was correct. Um, but alas, if you save 20% over the course of the entire run, say you get, I'll pull it out of my butt. If you got 500 shells, that would be the equivalent of, of, of what? So, or maybe 500, yeah, let's do, is that normal? I think maybe that might be. So 20% of that would be 100 extra shells. That's an entire good item. So you can kind of think of the pilot as starting with an extra item that you want, you know? like Or, or at least you want it based on the fact that you purchased it. Obviously that falls through if there's not really any good shop items, but at the very, very least, you can buy consumables. So it's kind of in a roundabout way. He is sort of like the hunter. Robotos. Crest follows. And mailbox. <laughs> oh god. We uh, we got some okay stuff now. Mailbox is way better than the rogue special. I will like, give it that. We can use the crestfaller to slow this boy down, slow his roll. 
I kind of want to enact the, uh, the gun drop effect to keep him frozen, because the moment he becomes unfrozone, he will never be frozone again. And here it comes. As soon as it's done, as soon as the Crestfall is done doing his business, which it is now, I think I'm going to switch to the mailbox to try to afflict some kind of, like, ideally poison. The explosion's not bad. There's the poison. That's, I think with poison on, the DPS from the mailbox is comparable or equal to the Crestfaller, and I would rather just use the Crestfaller for something else if we can get the same general value from the mailbox. Look at that. Merry Oh, look a little... Oh, Roboto Synergy, boys. We got this. It's actually really solid. Do we have enough to buy... We have enough to buy a key. We have enough to buy two keys. Let's leave this up to fate. Is this the room? Uh, no water barrel there. No water barrel there. No water barrel there. No water barrel there. All right, well, maybe we accidentally left it up to fate anyways by breaking the water barrels. Yeah, there might be another one far out somewhere. I'm going to pass, though. That's fine. Two keys on the next floor is fine by me. I guess we broke the water barrel on accident. Did not remember doing that. But, hey. Crestfallen machine pistol. It's not the most exciting stuff in the world, but... There's just like a... There's a baked-in soft synergy with the machine pistol, because it has electro shots and angry bullets, which actually is a synergy, despite really not being a big fan of angry bullets normally. You want bullets on the screen with shock rounds, or whatever it's called. Shock rounds? Shock rounds. The part that creates the electricity between the bullets. You want stray bullets on the screen. And that's exactly what angry bullets does. Because the more that are on the screen, obviously, the more connections you get to have. It's all about the connections. Do we have enough of this? Ha! This room without taking damage. Man, I <coughs> almost did an entire run without taking damage. Twice! This week! I was mentioning about something about it in the, uh, the Scrapped video or some semi-scrapped, unlisted, magical 0.5 video. Uh, ooh. Oh, wait, we don't have sh shock rounds. That's, that's right. Um, I don't know what it is that makes it so I all of a sudden am doing a lot better in the whole perfect area. My my theory that I mentioned there, that I, just, I want to mention it here because I think it's, I think it's an interesting thought. I, my guess is that it has a lot to do with what I'm playing on the side. Like, huh? like right now, what? I, 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 if this is how I, if I don't take a hit except for that, that'd be hilarious. I was busy describing why I'm good at this game. That's, that's a lie. I'm not, I don't, I was busy describing why I think I'm doing better now than I have. And yeah, I think it's due to the fact that I'm playing more reflex intensive games on the side like and the in fact the, the very side game on my channel right now or one of the, the big side games on my channel right now besides what king is binding of isaac which is you know it's not the same but it it flexes a lot of the same same muscles so oh, so i don't know that could be it but i'm also yeah playing a lot of Super Smash Brothers in the the elite way, <laughs> the elite battles, you know, whatever the on the online mode or whatever, where you have to take it like 0.5 serious. So I'm like, maybe just the fact that I'm flexing my reflex muscles, it translates to the game better than if I was playing like a card game on this side. That's that's my theory at least, but that's just a theory game-related theory. 
If we seriously don't get hit except for that pit, I will cry my face off. So now I don't have to cry my face off. That was really, really bad and embarrassing anyways, though. But I immediately had my wish granted. And that's always... Ain't that the way? Like, as soon as you start talking about it, that's when it goes in the pits. Quite literally. Is something wrong with my brain? Like... I turned down the refresh rate on my computer to because I was having issues with the uh, my recording software stuff. Is that is that it or like what is going on? Or am I like I know I fall into pits sometimes, but twice in a row on the same floor is kind of kind of weird. All right. Okay. Dungeon Eagle is not bad. In, like, in fact, I feel like I should like it more than I do. Alright. I don't think we're going to be able to buy anything from Kersiele. Oh, we did not kill the toady. Normally I don't on purpose if I can help it because it's if you get Casey, then you get a you get a one hit KO on whatever the second floor boss is. But kind of figured I wasn't gonna get Casey. Oh, oh! Did this in such a stupid way. Paid off okay, but man, oh man! Bye bye, beholster. Dungeon Pepper. It's okay. It's the tagline. Gungeon Pepper. It's okay. 26, 25, 22. Wow. I know we could have done a little bit better search in there. In fact, we probably should have shot the wall in Cursula, because I've noticed it is there a lot. But here we are. Having made mistakes. This synergy is so good for, like, and I'm not talking, well, I'm not talking just like, it's an, it's an amazing synergy when stacked up versus, I don't know, like a black hole gun, whatever that synergy is that's unreal. I'm talking like, the fact that it comes out of a, just the regular pistol, the regular automatic pistol, and it's frankly really easy to come by makes it an amazing synergy and in fact makes me want to pick up the machine pistol i mean we will get that chelatin key if we can swing it and i don't know how we could not swing it at this point like we'd have to not get a key in the shop and i feel like i think that you're supposed to get a guaranteed one in there I don't know if that's exactly still the truth, but I think it is. We could obviously open that up or lockpick it, but thankfully we did not because that would be stupid. I did to what? Like I'm, I'm actually, and I know it's, it's probably like BS excuse, Mr. Retromation. You fall into pits all the time. LOL, LOL, LOL. That's not true. I don't actually fall into pits all the time. That was like a, a hundred episodes ago. Yes, rolling into frogs, that's new. But uh, I, I actually think that there's something up. Maybe it is the refresh rate. I didn't think that that would affect anything though. But alas, we will deal with it and we will. that'll be our challenge for the day. Okay, so that is that for our machine pistol. But we have the bowl, which is quite good. Zombie bullets. I mean, we could buy the zombie bullets. I mean, maybe we, maybe we will. Like, they're, they're pretty good. Pretty good. They're, they're good, but they're really hard to notice the effects of. That's my thing with them. And, and, and that's not anything. That's not knocking them. 
because it doesn't have to be good, you know? You don't have to be able to notice it, rather. Don't matter at all, really. If it does work, it does work. And you know what? I think that, uh, I think it does work. It does a good job. Oh, the bullet. Man, I've been sleeping on it. Like, it's been... It's an amazing, amazing piece of machinery. It does so... It does so much. And I've always considered it to be, like, okay. But it's actually really, really quite good. I will fill this up, though. As the 50%. Rat room. Oh. Infinite key makes me go yippee. Well, the 9 millimeter is a really nice way to uh, kind of even up y your damage outputs. Um. Oh. Did not mean to get in there. I love this eh face that we got going on. All right. This run is coming up Rito. I like it. Nothing insane happening, but you know what? Those runs are way more exciting to win. Can we just like not fight Treadnought for once in our life? He is easily the most uh, likely boss on this floor to get me with a shot that is stinky. You know what I don't like about him more than anything else? Like, I the reason I find him annoying is he spends most of his time off screen. That I find annoying. Like, it's just predict where he goes. I would, but he does some wonky stuff. Where even is he? And that's the thing, is like, I feel like the arrow should be shown for him, like, right now. Like, I don't know exactly where he is. Yeah, I know he's not far, but... Still, it should be really, really handy, because sometimes he strafes away from platforms, the, uh, the pillars, in kind of a weird way. I mean, I got him, he's, like, perfected him, whatever, whatever, but still. Let me complain! 63, should we... Buy zombie bullets? Let's look at it this way. We're basically buying a long-term, better ammo crate. Yes, it's slightly unreliably, but... Oh, well. Tangler? Love the Tangler. I, I don't like I rarely read my comments to, while I'm doing videos, but I just I just got one and I and I I think it's an interesting thought. I think it's an interesting thought that I will I will apply immediately. Thank and we can thank Astrid for that. Ah! We she left a comment. I assume she Astrid is typically a female name. Uh, left a comment saying. You, you usually, like, to, as I'll summarize, you usually explain things a lot more thoroughly on the first floor than you do on other floors. Could you explain thoroughly in the future points? That's interesting. I, I'll try to do that. But yeah, that, I wonder, I wonder why that is. You know what? I know why that is. Here's why that is. It's because the first floor does not have much going for it. So you almost, you kind of like have to do a deep dive, you know? But I'll try, I'll try to, and I feel like I have been doing it a little bit more with, like, the Rito scale and stuff like that. But Luxon Cannon is really solid. At this point, like, we don't have to think through things. One of the, ay 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 things I know I always mention on the first floor about, uh, how, like, uh, how I think through things is the key, the key meta. And I feel like that's because there's a very clear flowchart on there, and we kind of don't really have that choice to make that flowchart on this run now because we do have infinite keys so like what is our question if we open a chest 
is it a mimic? That's basically that's basically it. Like right now, what are we looking for? At like to complete a run here, like two, one. I think we have enough tools already to beat the run. I do. But what what do I think we're lacking? I mean, I rarely I rarely say like health anymore because it's health is a luxury. If you're if you're good enough at the game, health is just like a luxury that lets you play more goofy. Um, but I would not mind a defensive item. I wouldn't mind something that would let us be a little bit more a little bit more free. I wouldn't I wouldn't mind like a uh, like a potion of lead skin, ring of the ethereal form, something like that. And honestly, we are lacking a damage dealing banger. Like we have we have really solid mid high tier type uh, type weapons. Like Luxon Cannon is probably like a 7.5 you know it, it does really really quite well and lasts a long time I'll give it a 7.5 on the real scale I'll pull it out of my butt but I think it's, it sounds about right um I I I could carry a carry through a run with it other than that like yeah we have the tangler which is which is really solid too it's probably like a probably like a 7.5 you know what? No, they're both sevens. I'd say they're both sevens. Lux and Cannon, Tangler, give him a seven. But like, I'm looking if we can get like a like a banger nine or something. Ruby nine prototype is not not one of them. It's good. It's really good, but it runs out quite quickly. I give it a six. I give it a six. Dealing out Rito scale scores left and right. I mean, I love bouncing shots. And I love, I love the sound effects and everything of it. It's just like, it runs out fairly quickly. And this is not a great run to judge. Oh, wow. How well things left. I got caught on the wall. I can't, can't explain, can't explain that. I made a goof. Um, not a good run to judge ammo capacity because we do have zombie bullets. So if you're making if you're making any decisions about what you think about weapons based off of this run, factor in that zombie bullets gives us ammo back. Ammo back when we either miss a shot or or no, no, when we hit when we hit an enemy. I don't know exactly when it applies, but it's just slowly over the course of the run we get ammo back. And it and it's like it's in the in the background and I don't think it's anything that can be influenced, so it's not really anything we have to think about. It's just a thing that's there that's going to help us out that we don't even need to know about. That was a little rhyme. Cute. Get out of my face. But like, why are we using something I gave a six when we, I could be using something we gave a seven? Nah, uh, I kind of just like, I'm not always using the most optimal weapons for everything and I know that. And people make the memes that I that I use my amazing weapons in floors instead of the bosses. It's true. Sometimes I do. I do it for fun, though. Like I, my goal is always to just have the most fun at any moment in time as we can, really. Like while still not not throwing away our chance at victory. That's that's my goal always. Is just like have the most fun I possibly can without eliminating the chance for victory. Or, in theory, eliminating the chance for victory. Oh, framey. Oh, framey. Oh, boy. Alright. We could probably and should probably be using the sling. And we can even do something like this. It does extra damage if it bounces off the wall, but... I'm gonna pass. I'm rarely worried about the kill pillars. Not to say I'm never, never worried. Pretty sure they get some kind of damage reduction buff when they're clumped together like this. Oh man. Yeah, with all those bullets on the screen, it's so framey. I guess that's a byproduct of uh, 
my recording software that's supposed to be better. But anyway, I'll figure it out. Hup. 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 Okay, regular shotgun. It's really not bad. It's really not bad. I... Uh, it's really not worth the money. Full stop. But, like... It's definitely fun to have when it works on bullet hell. It's actually useless to go out there. It will net us nothing to go out there. No! Shouldn't have worked. We don't have an accuracy up or anything. We should... Let's be using something better. I mean... We don't really have to worry as much... As much about ammo this run as we normally do. Cool. So we might as well be having a little bit more fun. And it's not even just fun. Sometimes it's just like, I feel like using this weapon. Like, you, maybe it's not the best, but it feels like the thing that I should be using right now. And right now, you know, Machine Pistol is really... It really holds its own for a long time. I was trying to figure out why we had fire immunity. I forgot we had the Ruby Ring. The Ring of Fire Resistance. Is it called the Ru Ruby Signet, or is it called the Ring of Fire Get out of my forge! Yep. Bip, 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 bip. I like rapid fire weapons with bloody nine millimeter because it's really not. Uh, oh. All right. It's really not um, jarring when one comes out. I just realized why is the mailbox? Oh, it's not facing backwards. Uh, what was I talking about? I don't remember! Huh. It's okay. I'm sure it was important. But I like fire resistance. It's, it's, it's not bad. It's, it's like, it's definitely not a one on the Rito scale. But all, all of the, the things that only provide one resistance are like a solid two. If it provides multiple, if it provides one of the ones that provides two, I think there might even be one. I think it's just hazmat suit. It's probably like a... It probably brings it to like a 3.5, I guess. If it's flight, I give it like a... I give flight like a 4 or 5. 5! 5! 5! <laughs> oh my god, because it protects you from all of the... It gives you all the resistances, and it helps you do some quirky things over pits, and you don't have to worry about any traps. So it's like it's like heavy boots and all the resistances, and uh, rat boots mixed into one. So wax wings. God, God dang it. Dog darn it. What? It's all those mixed into one, so it's really, really quite good. I don't really care about the keys. On to the next room! Yeah, I think we have a pretty darn good chance at victory here today. Like like I've said many times now, it, it, we're at the point where, and it's so exciting to say, it would be weird to lose. Instead of, you know, it, being like a 50-50 thing, it would be something, it'd be something of note, you know? It'd be something to talk about. You'd be like, what, he, he lost? Oh, he was he did, doing so good. 
I'm gonna not count the uh, spoilers for the unlisted episode. It was part of the streak and we did win, so it technically would have been 81 on our streak, but I'm, I'm not counting it. Anything that's not like officially part of the canon, this, the official series is not canon or whatever. We'll just treat it that way, even though I did technically win it. We would, in theory, we would be on a streak of 82 if both of my like canned episodes didn't make it. Or did, did make it, god dang. Don't you just love it when you say the exact opposite of what you mean to say every once in a while? Hi! Get him, chickens! Surprise, you're alive! That's the sign that you're supposed to die! Nope. You didn't want to do it. That was the weirdest way to successfully dodge anything. And then that was the uh, lamest way to unsuccessfully dodge something. All right, well, we're back to full health, and we have two ammo drops here. I mean, we could do the cheese where we save them. But it's just, it's so sloppy having to fight the rat and go one room away. I, it just, it can work, but I just don't like doing it. Lay down a weapon to get healed over my dead body. Fire immune, sucker. So does that make us completely immune to, like, if we ran into them as well, or is it only just the fire on the ground? I guess I don't know. Old Goldie's pretty good. Gun boots is pretty good. And Judge is really not bad. Oh! I'll think about it for a second. I think we're gonna get old Goldie and the gun boots, because I guess why not? But I'll just wait. Because who knows? We could get a secondary shop of some sort. Also, we didn't have enough money to get both of them at the same exact time, anyways, and they're not gonna make that big of a difference to get one. And gun like gun boots are not even that great. I don't know, like. I overvalue gun boots, probably. Truth be told, gun boots are probably... Like, without anything extra to them. I would give gun boots a, a 3 on effectiveness. Like, higher than just being immune to one thing, but lower than being immune to multiple things. I think that sounds about right because it, it doesn't it has value but like to use it effectively you have to like do some weird rolls it's about as effective I mean well rolling bombs I don't know if they broke if they open secret rooms that'd be something they used to oh I'm glad they don't because then otherwise I'd have to be sitting here like this to be playing optimally and nobody likes that. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take that. I love eye patch. It's a fun, fun item. Reducing accuracy. I wish there were more items in the game that reduced accuracy or reduced something and gave you something. I love that idea. The uh, the idea of a of a risk reward or a, a trade off of an item. I like fat bullets. That's the other thing about the the run that lost to the. Atmos lost to the uh, the unlisted part of YouTube, the scary unlisted part of YouTube. Um, oh. We had fat bullets, which is another fun item because it has the uh, the trade off kind of effect to it as well. Why are you taking so long to break? This might be better than the sling, right? Don't get me wrong, I love me this. I love me the sling. Oh, but I think with like the extra little oh, electric beam from that, it's better. In fact, maybe this is even better. Especially from far away like this. Assuming the bullets are making it there. We definitely are going to do that. Just 
can't quite get the timing right on that. Ugh. There was a time where we were, like, amazing at it. The time is long gone. Eons ago. I swear, it was pre-streak. We just, like, don't even do it anymore. You can, you can blank them both and get rid of them both. Not saying it's even the most effective way to blank here, but it's just, like... Yeah, we didn't even, didn't even try there. But it definitely, like, does more to disrupt the screen than any of his other attacks. Can we, like, just finish him off? There we go. Even better. All right. Oh! Heavens. Heavens to slow down. Why? Oh, my God. That actually almost got me hit. Okay, did not quite get a one cycle. Huh. Huh. Hey, there we go. Chicken army attack. I think we are out of here. No real reason to search for anything. We don't have any blanks. We don't have any money to buy anything of notes. In fact, I don't even think we have money to buy a half part if we wanted one. Slash could even hold one. Ox of the Lich. Goldie. A very inaccurate old Goldie. Like, what can we use that doesn't really matter about accuracy? This doesn't matter that much. So, that should probably be inherently a good choice. Kind of a disenergy between gun boots and the roll bombs. Because the gun boots push them away from where the roll bomb would even hit them. Gun boots keep the damage up. That's the, you know what? That's the one kind of interesting thing about gun boots and rolling bomb that probably should make them be a little bit higher than they are. That's the fact that they do get the effects of your gun, like your passives that apply to your guns. Wow, that. Oh, that's. What the hell was that? Thank you for the full heart in bullet hell. That does not happen very often. But yeah, I mean, that, that's an interesting aspect. Like, if you have shock rounds, they get shock rounds. You have bouncy blows, they have bouncy blows. So I imagine they get the damage up from eye patch, seemingly without getting the inaccuracy oh, penalty, which is nice. Gotta love that. Uh oh, what a dumb, dumb roll. Nothing good could have come from that. Whoop. Bye. All right, let's just start firing off. I, nope, I never leave the doorway of this room because there's very rarely a reason to do that. I just did, 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 did stop rolling into stuff. No. Slow down. Does FPS changes affect, like, the question of the day, does the FPS of a game drastically affect your gameplay? Question, big question. Because that's like, I don't know, I'm, I'm noticing it affects me more than I thought. Oh. Alright, doesn't really, don't know where we're going yet. Ha! Tried to do something real cute, and we ended up getting hit. Starting to take a lot of damage left and right here. 
It's okay. We'll be fine. We have plenty of help. But I do want to start playing less embarrassingly bad. Just for the sake of honor and pride. Come on, guys. We haven't even used the charm bow. It's really not bad. One might even call it good. The ability to charm is so handy. Like, it's so good. Can these guys get charm? Okay, good. Fight amongst yourselves and don't worry about me. Okay. We have the Gungeon Pepper, too, so we could even just... Right? Yeah. We could even just charm them and stand by them while we slowly burn them to death with our hot pepper fumes. That's hilarious. No! It's not optimal, but it's not optimal, but... Good aim. God, I love the charm rounds because we can just not have to worry about this room, really. I definitely undervalue it. And by charm rounds, I obviously mean Chombo. Chombo. It's to me, Chombo. Holy crap! I let that get away from me. They, <laughs> they all got uncharmed at the same time, and I was not prepared. Thank you. Give me another another full heart here. I feel frankly slightly embarrassed taking it. We don't have any spacebar items. But, like we didn't and by that I mean we didn't get any spacebar items. You mentioned that that was the one thing we wanted, game. Holy frames. I mean it makes a little bit more sense. I'll have to figure this out. I'll, I'll sort it out. Because it is uh, pretty rough. Alright. Nope. God dodge. What to fill? We got a lot of good choices, don't we? we do. The question is basically... I think we'll do it. I think we'll do this one. It's nice. It's just really solid. Everything else gets filled up too, just not quite as much. So it's not like it's a amazing, like, big deal. Oh. Where's the ball? Oh. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. Hilarious game. So we do have an accuracy down, so we have to like be a little bit closer. It's pretty noticeable on things like this, the Luxon Cannon. Oh, okay. I don't really want to use my blank here, so I won't. I'll just take the hit. I kind of just left the ads there for a long time. Just let them do their thing. Chicken's going crazy. Don't even need to do anything, really. Chicken's got him. So that's kind of the nice thing about the chickens, is they're, they're like the on-hit items, 
except you don't have to get hit. The chicken does. And it's the express reason why it's so much better than the honeycomb. Honeycomb is like a... Honeycomb's a... Between a 1.5 and a 2. It's like a... It's... It's maybe a... Maybe a 2. Ah. Oh. Stand behind the chicken. You can stand behind the chicken here too, but it's just like... I'm not even... I'm not doing very well. I, like, let's just... There. See, that's a very optimal time to stay behind the chicken. I don't trust it here. Because anything that has kind of like rounded shots, I just, I don't know about. I'll try. Oh my god. Chicken's OP. Chicken's OP. We'll try it now. Oh, okay. Okay. Pretty ridiculous. Most of his shots come from him directly. Let's just, you know what, let's blank that one. For the hell of it. Let's see how crazy good the chicken can... Wait, the chicken's gone. Where'd he go? There he is. Does he go and, like, do something? I didn't have to run. Chicken. Forgot. God, this is terrifying. I just, I'm trying to trust the chicken. Trust in the chicken. Like we're gonna be fine. That's why I'm. That's why I'm willing to try it. But we are maybe throwing the run away. <laughs> what this? We're maybe throwing the run away because I'm trying a little, a little too much here. Like here we go. Why is the chicken army not spawning? There it is. There we go. Two hearts to spare. Bada bing, bada boom. That puts us. Officially at 81. We'll, we are at 81. Hopefully the new setup worked correctly and hopefully you are seeing this video. Otherwise we're going to have like two mystery secret behind the scenes unlisted videos, which I don't really want. So hopefully you enjoyed your time here. If you did, subscribe for daily Gungeon videos. But that is going to do it for today. Thank you everybody for watching. I greatly appreciate any and all support you wish to leave on the series up to this point. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.